congratulations. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Do I need a little time? A little bit of a cut you had to deal with, but it seemed like you were just fiercely committed to the idea, like you said, going to the body, showing your toughness against the Yeah, the last time I, I put pressure on him, I showed him uh, the pressure. He, uh, he didn't know how to handle it. He came out. He came out. He came out a lot stronger, a lot faster, a lot sharper in the first, you know, in the first fight. But like I said, the, the first time I was uh, very timid, trying to fight his fight. He caught me with a couple straight left hands, uh, hook, but this time around I wasn't scared. So I was ready for it. But once I started landing those body shots and I, I heard him, I said, all right. And then I settled down. I was trying to be too anxious to go after him. And uh, I was stopped him in the third round. Yeah. Right? So after the second round, uh, my coach said, like, how do you fight? Well, I got it. And then I come after I stopped him. He goes, you told me you got it. I, I started feeling that he was it was just one body shot away, but I, I wanted to knock him on the head, but he has a good chin, but he thought I was going to go in there for the chin hook, and uh, his, uh, his uh, body was wide open, and his elbow was up, and boom, he switched it up on him, and down he went. Andrew, since it came out stronger, did you feel his power? Did you feel the same? No, it was the same, but I would think this time I was aware of it. I, was, uh, I respected it, but then I didn't respect it. The first time, like I said, I was timid, I was scared. It was my first time, but this time I embraced it. I was back there, I was nervous, I was calm. I was ready to yes. come out here and showcase it once again. And now everybody's like, hey, it's not no clue. The, the, the last time was four rounds, this time was three rounds. There's no excuses. You know, double stamps, no races right here. It's done. And did you feel them. him weakening by the end of the second? It seemed like he was unsteady on his feet. Yeah, oh yeah, well, like I said, I was trying to knock him out in the, in the head, and I was going, if you watch the replay, I was going a lot, and I started landing them, but he was taking them, so I was like, I seen the opportunity, I see, like, once I, once you let me inside, it's going to be hard for you to keep me off of you. So, once I felt that, like I said, I was going to go for that check hook, and I, I just seen it wide open. Boom, sit down. Did your demeanor change as soon as you got the cut? You know. Um, a little bit, Vaseline out of my eye, and you guys see me wiping it, Vaseline. But after that, it, it's no big deal. I'm cut it, another damn scar added to my face, you know. Now I gotta go back there and get stitched up again. Were you, were you surprised how fight the end? Were you expecting it to be even sooner this time? I was expecting it to be even sooner. Like I said, I only got stronger in camp. I um, I went back to back training camps with Southpaw. I had tremendous sparring. I had uh, Rudy Ochoa, I had Jesse Norris, I had uh, Danny, I forgot his last name, and then I have uh, David Mihadas coming out on Saturday. I had great sparring. These guys helped me get ready, and I knew I, I have all the all the confidence in myself now. Like I said, the first time I was I didn't know if I belonged here. Now I know I belong here. And I got you to see you guys. And I tell you, how do you celebrate? Let's go. And I celebrate with some beers, IPAs, baby. Your story has resonated with so many people. Why is it you being you? Why watch you watch the water spilling on there, guys. Uh, I put in the work and I just been blessed. I want the great ability and I'm, I'm taking full advantage of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah.